All right, what's good? And we are back. So today let's talk about sampling. Now, yes, I know I've said in the past that I don't like to use samples because I don't think that they're, you know, your own work and stuff. Until I started using samples, <laughs> like recently. And it's, um, wow. They can really take your production, you know, up to the next level, especially for people who are struggling to sort of come up with ideas or make good quality sounds. Um, I struggle with that all the time still. Like, I have the ideas, but I can't make the ideas sound as good as I want it to. And, you know, it's music. It's a learning process, so hopefully that's something I can get better at. But, you know, we all got to go through these things. So I'm going to go for this awesome plugin. It's fairly new. It came out, I think, a couple weeks ago. It's called Loop Cloud, guys. It's free. So I really do suggest that everyone goes off and downloads it, you know, right now. Um, and this is how it works. You basically, all you do is you download Loop Cloud, you drag it into your FL, okay? Now, don't get confused. You're going to get to this part. There's nothing's here, okay? This is all it is. But this is not how you open it. You just have to drag it into your little step sequencer so FL can link with Loop Cloud. Then you go to your main menu, it will make you a little icon. You can hide that, you can delete it. I'll just leave it there, why not? We're gonna open Loop Cloud. And it, it's a real game changer for music because, so instead of having to open a website or your internet and then be surfing through the internet while you're making music, which can be a bit heavy on your CPU, you know? Loop Cloud has now made it just an interface that you can now just drag and drop into your FL. So you can cross that off, don't worry about that. And here you go. Guys, you literally just now start surfing through Loop Cloud. So you makes you like your own little library of things that you can buy. And yes, you gotta buy the samples. But the beauty about that is once that you've bought the samples, you can virtually do what they're yours. You can't get in trouble for using them, you can't you've bought the rights to use that sample. So go crazy, you know. So look up here, I just spent money. I've got nine hundred I've got uh, over nine thousand points. So that's the way it works. You buy points and with the points you buy the samples. Um and then so what you do is don't get confused. At first I was so confused, I was like, man, I was like, this is so dumb, like there's no there's no samples, like what do I do? Guys, this is because this is your library. You click store, you let that load. I'll go drums. Whatever. Here you go, guys. Even packs. Sample packs. Where you can then even pick a sample pack. You don't have to buy the whole pack. If there's just one sample in that pack you like, you can buy that one sample. That's what's the best part about this. So, you know, when you see a sample pack, you, I really love that one sound, but you don't want to spend 40 bucks to buy all, everything. You can just come into here. Now, navigating the interface is a little bit confusing. Um, this is a little, still a bit weird for me to navigate, but it's okay. Everything's in folders, and you just click the arrow. So look, that's the big folder of everything. You click the side arrow, it comes down, you've got drum hits. You click it again. In there are your claps. Here you go. Pick a clap. Now be careful, it's a bit slow, guys. It loads down here. Preview. I like this clap, you just click buy, okay? Um, now, I, I want to find a cool sample so I can show you how to buy it. Now, the problem with this though is, if you just can listen to that, there's a weird, with ambient noise. I don't know why, a lot of the samples have an ambient noise and I don't know why. I don't know if it's for the lower quality ones have that weird ambience in the back, but virtually nearly all of them have it. And it's really, 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 again, watermark preview. Oh, I think it's just the preview, guys. So for people who can't try to steal this. So I think once you buy it, it gets rid of the ambient noise, I hope. All right, so let's look, let's look for something that we like and I'll, I'll buy it. So we'll go uh, genres, instruments, Formats, instruments, uh, I don't know, go synth, okay, wait, how do I get out of this, oh yeah, sample pack, go back to the store, there we go, there we go, okay, um, I'll go 
kick. Okay, look for a kick. And then guys, it would be, I advise you then what you should do is you make a folder. So I've got a music folder. It's a big unorganized folder. Music, okay. And I've made my new uh, folder, loop cloud samples. Make a folder. And then, you know, you make subcategories, 808s, guitars, kicks. So I'll, I'll go one better. I'll go drums. In my drums. Because be organized. Because eventually, over the time, you're going to collect samples and they're going to be all over the place. And there's nothing worse than when you have samples in a project and you can't then find the samples. So kicks, right? Okay, let's look for a kick we like. Remember, it's slow. So let it load. There you go, okay. Don't like that kick. Snare. Okay, that's cool. Okay, but guys, it's also very important because it, they've also got the key. Actually, I won't buy a drum because I'll show you guys the key. God, all right. Sorry, sorry, dudes. Sorry. Uh, I'll go piano. Piano. Okay. Uh, so this is important. The key it says there's a thing. Key BPM. BPM. So when you save the sample into your folder. I suggest you have the sample name and then you have the BPM and the key because if you're going to use it in a track you obviously then need to fit the key and fit the tempo if you're going to up the tempo drop the tempo whatever I've got I think I've done a tutorial on how to fit s samples to tempos of your tracks but if you guys want to see that again let me know I'll do it again so let's just have a look Play. <laughs> Extremely weird. <laughs> okay. And like I said, you could spend up to hours searching through this. I mean. <laughs> Guys, don't just waste money on all these samples. Like, yeah, it'd be fun to have, but you'll know when you hear the right sample because you'll just go, oh, like, you'll just know and you'll go, okay, I can do this and this with this sample, okay? So, example, well, look, I'm not going to waste time, right? So, let's just say you find a nice sample, okay, and you all you got to do is literally click buy file and then you go and it's, it starts to download for you and then it's a drag and drop. You just drag it from here and you drag it into your folder. It doesn't save anywhere, so you have to drag it. Remember that, okay? Now, let me just show you guys how, how these samples can really spark up ideas. FL Projects 2018, FL Studio 20, Trap Idea. Okay, one sample from Loop Cloud sparked this whole track, and I'm gonna finish it. And I'm going to release it soon, I hope. But it's just unbelievable what these samples can really do, you know? Let's have a little listen. Okay. The sample in question is this. I found this sample and I straight away just went, yes, download. And I started this track with it. Okay. This is the sample. I got from this straight away. 
I made my own little melody. <laughs> some like crazy hybrid trap dubstep type thing but see that that sample really sparked that whole idea and now i've got a starting track you know so that's all i was just trying to show you guys with that um yeah so loop cloud download it it's free uh, then you have to pay for points which i suggest you do because like i said you'll, when you find the right sample you will know when you find the right sample so yeah guys i hope you enjoy that and i suggest to go download that so i'll see you in the next one huh? Peace out.